you fed up with all those stone three by three piston doors that don't fit into your rustic house? Well, don't you worry. There's one that's made of wood now. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avalanche. Today, I'm actually answering the request of something like 47,000 people that wanted me to do a 3x3 piston door. Now, there are a lot of 3x3 piston doors out there, and I'm not going to lie to you, it seems a bit daft reinventing the wheel. So, rather than reinvent the wheel, I've put my own spin on something that is already out there. And if you're going to basically copy, let's face it, if you're going to basically copy the design of someone who does redstone, there's only one person you go and look at, isn't there? It's Mumbo Jumbo. He is the best. This is Mumbo's initial design for a 3x3 piston door. It is super fast, but I've just fiddled around with it from an aesthetic perspective and also the, slight, the controls are very, very slightly different, but it works in exactly the same way. I shall show you. Look, if we come up here, hang on, let's just, and we throw this thing here, look, bang out it comes and then it comes back super fast I mean look how quick that is it's absolutely brilliant it comes down and super fast that's absolutely superb I think we should go and have a go oh and by the way I've done it in wood because no one ever makes these things out of wood and I like wood so given how cool this thing is you don't actually need very much so for everything you see that I've just done there including the frame we've got 14 oak woods 12 sticky piston, 12 spruce wood, one hopper, one dropper, 12 spruce wood planks, one detector rail, three redstone torches, one redstone comparator, four redstone repeaters, 17 redstone dust, 16 oak wood planks, one lever, nine spruce wood stairs, and an item like a wooden shovel that works really, really well to pop backwards and forwards between the dropper and the hopper to toggle the signal. And that is it. Let's get on with it. So one of the things that is absolutely superb about this build is the fact that it is so tiny. Look, that's four, five, six, and seven. That is the only space you need to be able to make this. Get yourself right in the middle and the back row. Get one sticky piston, two sticky pistons, and then you want to find yourself a tower of two like that. Disposable blocks are absolutely fine because you're going to pop the piston on like that and you're going to get rid of them. And then use the same disposable block, shove it on there, get another sticky piston, put it on top of that and bash that out like that. So that is the initial sticky piston formation. Then you want to come there, you want to come there, you want to come there, get rid of that there, put in a detector rail right there and a little bit of redstone there. This one can come out because we want to put a dropper in here and in that dropper we're oh, and we're not going to delete it in that dropper we're going to try and create a mono stable circuit and the way we're going to do that is by going inside it we're going to stick a wooden shovel in there it doesn't have to be a wooden shovel but i just lob a wooden shovel in because they're dead easy to make aren't they and then we're going to get a hopper and shove it on top now that is going to be um basically when that hopper is powered that's going to spew up into the hopper the um, shovel and then the hopper is going to say but I don't want it and it's going to pop it down again and it's going to move the signal from here to here because obviously with a signal um, with something moving into the hopper that's going to create a signal that you can then get yourself where is it a I can't even select it a redstone comparator and shove your redstone comparator in there like that that's all you need to do then what you're going to do is you're going to get a block that is going to run into a block and that will then power that block which will in turn power that piston so we're starting to build up the system there then what we're going to do is we need to put a dot of redstone on there this is going to be the block that basically fires everything and then we're going to put a redstone torch there and then we're going to put another block on top of that redstone torch like that and then come around and put another redstone torch right there. So we've basically taken the signal by um, inverting the signal on this redstone torch. When this is on, that is off, and therefore that piston isn't fired, but when that inverts, that piston does fire, and that is what creates the movement that we are after. Then we're just gonna come around here, shove another block in there, because we are gonna need that. So that is the first part. 
So the next part's pretty easy as well. So we're going to get ourselves a redstone repeater. We're going to shove it on that block. So now it's going to take the signal that this, when this lever is activated, it's going to take the signal out of that block. We're going to set that to four ticks. And that is going to shoot into this block. Now that means that that block gets hard powered, which means that when we get this sticky piston here, just like that, when we turn that on, that sticky piston is going to fire and it's going to shoot the block that we put on the face of it right out. So let me just demonstrate that for you. Bang, you see that's so that block gets shot out and then you turn it off and it comes back in again. So what we have created here, by the way, we've not shown you just yet, is the first part of this double extending part. So I'm just going to throw this switch. Look, it's pushed two blocks up and then if we throw it back, it's half retracted. So just get rid of that and shove that back there. It's half retracted. And that's what we're really trying to achieve, which is great. And then when we come along here, get the redstone repeater, we want to set that for two ticks, just two ticks. We're going to have a bit of redstone there, get ourselves some oak wood planks again. It doesn't have to be oak wood planks. I'm just using it because I'm making it out of wood. And then we're coming up there and there with that. Now what we are going to do, actually, I'm going to change this because we're making this bit out of spruce wood so we know that that is the um, that's the actual gate and what we will do we will create the gate out of the spruce wood now so as we've got it there and we don't get confused and we know exactly where that is there we go so we've got that bit of gate there which is brilliant and out of the back of here we're going to get ourselves another repeater there that's got to be set to four ticks as well that is going to go into another block that is going to hard power that block that will power that um, uh, piston there and then we put some redstone on that and that will power that piston there and if we then fire that we should find that we get that double piston extension completed look up it goes like that and then we come down here and it pulls it back in so that's perfect that's worked a really 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 well so all we need to do now is to surround this entire system up with um, the sticky pistons that we need to put in so that's one there one there and one there and then we also need to create um, sticky pistons to come here. So let's get that out there as a block that we can push that sticky piston into like that. Then another one on top and another one on top. That block can come out. And then we just need to put a double block there. Get a sticky piston facing downward. No, facing downwards. Go closer there, Navo. Facing downwards. There you go. And we get rid of that block like that. Then we're also going to put another block on top of that because we're going to need that in a minute so then that won't change uh, very much in terms of the the firing mechanisms now so what we need to do is get a redstone torch on there that will basically empower this piston here if we then put a block on top of that that torch will power the block and then redstone on top of that that block will power the redstone does that make sense i hope that makes sense for you and then we're just going to put that block there and that block there um, because just to demonstrate how we're going to run this redstone around we're actually going to move this block out of the way this one here that I'm looking at uh, needs to change but for now I'm just going to demonstrate how the redstone is going to run across so you can see that there like that so I mentioned that we're going to remove that block and that's what we're going to do now because we're going to create the frame the frame around which we're going to have the system so we're going to have that like that all the way up to the top that is a temporary block that's going to come around like that that can get rid of now one two and as i said we're going to get rid of this block so let's get rid of it that's going to come down that's going to go up like that we're going to get rid of that block don't forget to put the redstone back because that would be an absolute disaster the whole thing will not work and when you fire it when it's wrong you, you break it basically it has to be fired correctly otherwise you are in proper trouble so that comes down like that and then we're going to come right across like that and if you want to you can take out these corner bits just so as it looks nice and equal because we're going to cover that up anyway so then get a redstone i'm going to run redstone across like that and basically onto that bit there we're then going to get two more blocks for redstone carriage which is going to come across there that will then this redstone will power this block which will power this piston and then the last one we want to do is that one there and put a bit of redstone on there which gets powered from here and that powers the pistons down below so that theoretically should be 
a working system, but we've not finished it yet, so don't go anywhere. But I am going to show you that if you throw the switch, it closes itself up, and then open the switch, and it opens itself up again. So it's really, really cool, dead easy, and super quick. Look. Closes and open. So that's a working system. Now let's finish it off and make it a lot easier to turn on and off. So what we're going to do first is we're going to decide what we're going to surround it with. And I'm just going to do the same as what we had before. So I'm just going to make a row of wood coming out here. I say no one ever makes these portals out of wood. They're always made out of stone and I think that's not fair. Wood gets a raw deal. So we're going to come along and we're going to make this one out of wood. We're going to come up like this. Because why shouldn't rustic houses have nice 3x3 three three portals that don't look out of place? That's my question for you people. I think it's only right that they should have their fair share of redstone genius put into them. They obviously miss that one there because there's a lever coming around. We're going to block that off, come round, round and round, come up, put that there, put that in the corner, there, 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 up, up and up. So there you go. So we've got a, uh, a closed off system there. And I'm going to put a row all the way along here and another one all the way along here. Right, so now we think that lever is a little bit difficult to get to. So once you've put your steps all the way along the front of this, come in, take that lever out. You don't need it. So right now, the system cannot be fired. But that's all right, dear viewer, because we can shove a repeater onto that and shove a block there. Stick another block there and another block there. Get ourselves some steps all the way around like that and then get ourselves the lever, stick the lever back on there and we get ourselves yet again a functional gate. Off it fires and there it goes and we can just walk through to the nothingness that I have left behind it and that is the end. So a huge thanks to Mumbo Jumbo for coming up with this really awesome compact, but more specifically, really nicely animated design. Those doors close so nicely and the mechanism is so compact, it's really, really very, very clever. What was the point in me reinventing the wheel when I can show you what is arguably the perfect wheel? I hope you like the idea of doing it in wood and not just stone. There's all sorts of variations you could do it in, and why don't you just have a bit of a play with it yourself? If you've enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap that like button. It would be great to see how many likes we can get on this, and if you do like it, maybe I'll do some more stuff like this as well. And also, don't forget, if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.